Hey everybody, welcome back for another Ren reaction. This one we are actually doing on our own, which is kind of cool. We've, we really loved the first, our first introduction to Ren and we had some really positive comments uh, from a, a number of people. So I think we want to just say something about that really quick. Yeah, we had no idea. Look, Nathan and I, we don't understand how anything works on YouTube. We don't, we don't understand anything. Uh, what I'm getting at is the, when we did that Ren reaction, it was a Patreon request. It was someone who gave it to us. We mentioned before that people had said in our comments, hey, you guys got to check out Ren, even though it had nothing to do with whatever video they put that under. And we, we get it. We understand there's, there's fan bases for other artists that people try to get our attention for. But this was an artist that people kept bringing up. So we, we did it because it was a Patreon request. That was the first time we did it. We're like, okay, fine, we'll do it because it's a Patreon request. And little did we know, A, what we were going to experience with high Ren. And B, we had no idea. I didn't have any idea that our little channel, Nathan, it's a very small channel compared to other reactors, would get a bit of a bump. And we really appreciate that from the Renegades. I believe they're called the Renegades. Uh, that much I learned from the comments. Okay. Uh, they're a very passionate group. <laughs> so mm -hmm. my only, and they've been very good. Don't get me wrong. Uh, there was one kind of negative comment. What, I forget, how did that one start again? I told you about, I deleted it, but it was a really kind of just a, a kind of attacked us, which is fine. Oh yeah. That's right. It accused us of laughing throughout the video. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to say to that person, if they happen to be watching this video, we were not laughing like, ha 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 ha. We, it's a, it's an emotion that you feel when you're kind of overwhelmed. It's an overwhelming, like, you're like, oh, I can't believe I'm watching. Like, it's a reaction. There's a, as we know, there's a variety of reasons why people laugh. I don't think you have to explain. I think the vast majority of people <laughs> well, I feel like I totally to. understood why we were reacting the way we were, except for an individual who <laughs> felt the need to bring it up. And I know people give us a hundred great, I know it's just the nature of humans. It's that one idiot that gets at you. You're like, anyways. <laughs> But everyone has been very awesome with their comments. Overwhelmingly so. They gave us like thousands of different suggestions, and it's overwhelming. And I love it, but it's overwhelming. So mm. the one song, though, that I kind of kept coming up, Nathan, the one that I didn't do like an actual like numbers poll, but there was one mm. song that people kind of said, well, the next one you should do is called The Tale of Jenny and Screech. That one mm. seemed to come up. The, another one came up as well. But it, we appreciate it. We appreciate the suggestions. Uh, if we don't go in the right order, don't get mad at us. There's so many different requests that people give us. I would say the best way to get our attention, it's not about the money, but it's just the thing that we do, you know, get right away. Is, of course, when a patron comes through and says, Hey, you know, this is the song. It kind of, it kind of cuts through all the noise because they're just going right yeah. to the heart of it. They're saying, Hey, this is the video you need to do next. Other than that, Nathan, to the front of the that's line. right. Yeah. Push it to the front of the line. And it, it, and then Nathan and I aren't guessing. But until then, we're just going to keep guessing because mm -hmm. we're going to go down this journey mm -hmm. and we're going to keep just kind of guessing from the comments which one should be next. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah. this is a 13, almost 14 minutes song performance, Nathan. I have no mm -hmm. idea what it's about. I suspect it's another story, probably <laughs> some sort mm -hmm. of performative story. Uh, I'm curious how this one goes. What are your thoughts before we get going? Uh, Jenny and Screech. The only thing that makes me think of is wasn't there someone named Screech on? <laughs> oh yeah, Degrassi Junior High. Yeah, Deg no, it was Saved by the Bell. Saved by oh, the Saved by the Bell. Okay, <laughs> that Sorry. actor's dead, by the way. Oh, okay. he passed away a few years back. Yeah, it's not. Weird. It's kind of what a weird thing. Wasn't it like a yeah. kid? Now I feel like no, no, no. He was. He's our age. He didn't like. He, I mean, he didn't die as a child. He died as a right, full. But he was a adult. child on the show. Yeah, he was a young actor. Yeah, he, okay. but my understanding, he passed away. Anyways, rest in peace to Dustin Diamond. Is his name? Sorry. Oh. Anyways, um, <laughs> sorry. Like that, I took everything to a screeching halt. Uh, okay, so. Oh. <laughs> I don't have anything to respond to that. It's not. Yeah, it's not nothing water worthy for dad jokes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, I was gonna say something else. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, I, I don't think I don't think it's about Dustin Diamond. I don't think so. Okay, all right, here we go. Jenny and Dustin Diamond. Here we go. Oh, 
was like, yeah. It was a quiet dark night in an empty street Somewhere at London City Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet She was heading back home to sleep Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Because she walked it about a thousand times before She wanted to escape Can you blame? Well, on the very same night, in a different place, there was this hooded young youth by the name of James. He was 14 years old and out of his brain he'd been smoking ganja with the boys. James, he grew up to be a kid of the street. His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet. He was a liar, a thief, but 14 years old, the devil had set his sights on his soul. As Jenny walked home all along, she felt scared. Usually she was all right, but it was like there was something in the air. A divine intervention telling her to beware, maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Sirens sounded in the distance at the beat of Jenny's feet. A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets. Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet. Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me. I mean it. Bitch, are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Fear like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move But stayed as still as a statue in high-heeled shoes What the hell are you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking God, I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks You think I don't mean it, girl? You don't know me? The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reach with the sheath of the blade With the teeth that could bite through steel And slice concrete And he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath. It was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at London City. Jenny lay still on the cold concrete. She's far out somewhere to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor because she'd walked it about a thousand times before. I guess that she escaped. It's such a shame. Oh, okay. Mm. Interesting. So it's a different it's a cut. cut. Yeah. So we can, well, maybe that might be a good place to pause it if you want. It's kind of a natural place we can talk if you want for a second. Yeah. It's fascinating to hear this, like, I'm I'm trying to like understand the well I'm trying to figure out the story but at the same time I'm kind of like how did he get this street with nobody on it with no background noise with like is is that a set it almost looks like a no oh, it's a it natural like I get set. yeah I know but it's a natural place or whatever it's a it's yeah I know what you're saying it's yeah, maybe two know. in the two in the morning people people in their room shut up down there I'm trying to sleep yeah. <laughs> like almost like waiting for something like that to happen because yeah. it's it's definitely real like there's no sorry i i said there might be a set I, I don't think it's a set i i get that it's real but it's it's just so like yeah he he's i like what christina said here this is sort of his uh, sort of like the uh the guy from the witcher that yeah. just kind of sings Danny he's a Lyon. bard and, and i think that's what i'm getting from this is he's he's a modern day bard he's telling stories through music that's what bards did like uh, in in you know when you when you play as a bard in Dungeons and Dragons or if you have a bard that shows up that's their job is to kind of tell the story to to give it life so that's exactly what he's doing and I just find it fascinating it's it's like yeah it's a modern bard I love it no and it's uh you're right Nathan it's called bardcore that's the style of music we learned that in the comments as well oh, right so it's a hardcore right. it's bardcore Bardcore. So Ren must be, is he the only one that does it? Did he create this genre? Is he a genre right. creator? Have you ever heard of that before? Or recreator. Yeah. Like bringing it up from the past and making it new again. Yeah. Yeah. So he's a storyteller. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Yeah. It's fantastic. I'm I'm watching this. And of course, there's a couple of words that are hard to hear. He's got a very strong accent for us. We're Canadians. So the accent's different for us to hear. So I almost wanted to bring up the lyrics, but I was like, no, I want to just watch his performance and and just kind of take it in. And uh, yeah, we might not get the story right away. So don't add us in the comments. It's okay. It's okay. This is our first time reaction to our and watching the song. I'm sure not everyone got everything right away, but yeah, I'm, um, yeah, let's go. Next part. That was it. I'm glad he kind of stopped for us so we could say something. Okay. All right, here mm -hmm. we go. Next, this is like part two, probably chapter two. 
It does sound like barred music. Yeah, yeah. Screech's tail, I see. Okay, interesting. A story, it starts right at the end. Heard the life of poor Jenny clocked out like Big Ben. <laughs> this Screech, dear boy, where did he go? He melted into the black night just like snow. Patrick, man, let me in, please open the door. I think I fucked up, Patrick, really fucked up, man. I'm not sure. I got crazy, left this lady lying still on the floor. I think I killed her, Patrick. Come on, man, I can't knock no more. But Screech kept on knocking till his knuckles became sore. But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54. No refuge for our villain, for the bitter hands of fate. With something far more sinister in mind that does away. Got a phone call? <laughs> this is weird. What is going on here? Hey, babe, are you in? No, nothing really. I'm just a bit tired. Listen, can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch, for fuck's sakes! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest knife But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets, and they call me fucking Screech Richard was an officer who stood at six foot three Working London on the night shift What he didn't think he'd see Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed With no time to hesitate He fired four bullets at Screech's chest <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Ah, oh, story, it ends right at the start. Young Screech and poor Jenny lying one street apart. An officer shaken by the boy that he claimed. Two bodies lay lifeless, and it's such a shame. It's such a shame. It's gonna stop there, I bet. Is that the that's chapter over there, I bet? Mm -hmm. Okay. So thoughts on that chapter, Nathan? Um, it it certainly feels like yeah, like. I mean, Shakespeare was doing the same thing, just in in a much different way, you know, mm. by telling stories about the people and then having you and like holding the mirror up to to society, right? That was kind of the one of the goals of not Shakespeare specifically, but like playwrights, musicians, creatives. Right. That's one of the things, and I think that's exactly what he's doing. Is um, you know, it's it's have a look in the mirror. This is what's going on. You know, these two tragic stories um without saying things like and we should you know have more gun control or we should make you know things more make make more laws it's more like what do you get 
What are you getting out of this when you hear this story? What's your response to it? So I think that's a, that's fascinating um, for an, a musician to do that and to tell a story and to 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 do what music and or sorry what movies and and plays have done for for centuries. So yeah, I love it. Fantastic next chapter. Um, I'm glad Jenny's dead. Uh, so I didn't like what? her anyways. I didn't like her. She wasn't go screech, kill more people. Um, no, this is a, I love these type of stories too. though. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. He got killed. Um, I love these type of stories. Uh, they're, they're tragedies as they say. That's very, that's mm-hmm. the Shakespearean. All his characters die. And then George R. R. Martin took over and that part of things. But that's the idea is I love these <laughs> tragic characters, so to speak. And they're just flawed and tragic. And this is all mm-hmm. coming from his head. I, yeah, I mean, he's an author. That's the thing. So he's a combination. He's an author. He's a storyteller. And this is performative. This is theater. So I think that's what I'm getting so far from Ren. This is live theater. He's, mm-hmm. I know he was a busker, I think. And, and so I can, can you imagine just seeing him back in the, back in the day? He's a young kid now, but just him busking before he became Ren on YouTube. But right. Yeah. The, just the, the performative art, the confidence. I get, I get stressed out. He's yelling in the street. Is anyone going to get mad at him? I don't know where he is. Where is he? Why is nobody <laughs> yelling at him to be quiet? Uh, or he's just got great mics. Like he might be patched into the, the guitar might just be picking up whatever he plays. And then his mic just might be very focused on him. So it doesn't pick up the, um, the ambient sounds. And um, I like, did they, so Samuel's the, you know, the video guy. And I love how mm-hmm. he gets shot. He falls down he, and he handles the camera work very well. I'm just curious what camera he's using. I'm also mm-hmm. curious. Did they talk about what they're going to do? Because it seems like Ren just moves. I mean, Samuel probably just knows how Ren moves and how to shoot him too. But the whole idea of like, I'm going to shoot you, you're going to fall down. They must have discussed that. I'd be kind of curious to hear their planning of all this. Uh, anyways, this is, yeah, great. That's chapter two, I guess. Let's see the next mm-hmm. chapter. Mm-hmm. Well, oh. he's on a... Oh, Violet's new character. Uh, new character. The hospital. Oh, is that who he called? Is that who he called? Oh, maybe, yeah. I mean to talk about his guitar playing next uh, next pause, please. Okay. Yeah, remind me to talk about. Rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale. Oh, my back, my back. It's a go back in time. I think is the idea there. And this character, different uh, time and space. Happy. Violet was a silent girl, grew up with violent stars. Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard. Every night he took a tie but never left the room. I'll spare you with the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew. 
Violet was a silent girl, she moved out at 16 A semi-detached council flat, paid for by a welfare scheme Packing shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickled bricks She met a boy named Stevie and he was a little prick Violet was a silent girl and Violet she fell fast See Stevie was a wrong and but he sure knew how to charm her Every night he took a tie but never left the room History repeats itself, he'd paint her black and blue and dark Violet, why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door and he's irate. He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late. And he stands by her bedside, she shakes. But her eyes stay shut. You fucking slut, I know you're up. And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up. Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent. That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, blood splat, bone crack, knick knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw and the tooth spat, detached, fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left her bruised and broke. Violet, why are you always so silent, Violet? Why are you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. Well, say something, Violet. Silence. Fucking say something, Violet. Silence. This is insane, man. I don't get this. is crazy. Wait. Say something, Violet. Not one word. She stays quiet. <laughs> City, far from pretty, 2005. A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong. See, Violet, she was pregnant. Poor Violet, she was nine months gone. Turning to the doctor, Violet broke her silence and she cried. If I'm to die right here tonight, please let my baby stay alive. The doctor soon regained composure, called the surgeon to come in. As Violet's world turned to black, the curtains closed, the lights went dim in London City. Far from pretty, 2005. A lady down in Paddington. Just lost the fight to stay alive A tragedy or a miracle It happened on these very streets Two twins Aligned side by side A girl named Jenny And a boy named Screech Holy... Oh. Oh boy. <clears throat> you want to lead? I, I got to put this all together. <laughs> well, let me say something before I forget <clears throat> to start things. Okay. Um, I, 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 I don't know what's going on here. What's he doing here? <laughs> Meaning it's insane that he's able to piece this together. How much does he practice? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's not, I, I but it sounds like, it's a combination of absolute perfection in storytelling, but you can't just whip it out of your head with no. the guitar pieces, the movements in the street. He makes his marks with each part of the, you know, the street, the building, the knocking on the door. Mm -hmm. Like that's a lot of work, you know, and then, you know, him knocking on the door, Violet White, and then he's telling that haunting tale of that poor girl getting beaten by the dad. The dad or the stepdad? I guess I don't know. Um, um, I, I didn't. I could be lost. I could be lost in the kid. There's a lot to take in, folks. But this poor mm -hmm. girl, you know, Violet. Why are you so quiet? Oh, I just like. And then, it, even though nothing's happening, boyfriend. <laughs> like, that's what I thought. Was oh, boyfriend. boyfriend. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So even though nothing's happening to poor Violet, like there's no. Mm -hmm. It's but this stuff happens, and I suspect 
Ren, and people will tell us in the comments, if he hasn't seen it or been around it, he's heard about it. Like, obviously, this kind of abuse and, oh, it's just, so you, you hear this, and then the whole, like, you know, you know, Violet, you're not saying anything. Why are you so quiet? Because he's beating her to a pulp where she can't, mm -hmm. she's unconscious. And she, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. anyways, it's, I, and so I'm just thinking as I'm watching, I, I'm taking in, I'm trying to follow the story too, but I'm also just amazed that at each mark, between the between Samuel, the video guy, mm -hmm. his mm -hmm. singing, the hallway, the stairs, mm -hmm. you know, the knocking on the door, the walking out to where they are in the street. Now, then I'm thinking, what time is it? Why is there nobody there? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. What's, mm -hmm. It's it's mm -hmm. almost like witchcraft. What's going on here? I don't. Anyways, uh, that's my thoughts. I don't think they make sense, Nathan. It, it does make sense. I'm glad that uh, you got to go first because I've collected my thoughts and okay. I've, I've kind of stumbled on a thought here that I okay I want to share. And I hope I don't lose anybody by saying this. Not not in a bad way. I just I hope that this doesn't go over people's heads. But and I'm not trying to insult people by saying that. I just I I'm an English teacher. I you know I went to university. Mm -hmm. I studied you know all kinds of of poetry and, and different things. Anyway, there's a poet by the name of William Blake, very famous poet. Yeah, I, I even I've heard of that name. Even me. Okay, <laughs> even you. Yeah, yeah even well, me. You did, you did some of this stuff. Um, he was what you would call one of the earliest multimedia poets. So he tackled some pretty big issues in his time and tried to kind of hold the light up to some issues. And, and some people shouted him down and other people just kind of didn't, they're like, I don't understand what he's saying him and those fancy words. And, but it was, it was definitely him you know, he did a couple of poems, like one was called The Chimney Sweep, talking about how crazy it was for these little boys to go mm. down these chimneys to try and clean up. It was just, you know, he was poking the bear a little bit. Mm. Um, what, what I find fascinating is that when Blake did it, it was like he would he would make these poems on he would do acid etched poems so he'd always do like a a, a picture that went with the poem as well it's the first mm. time it had really ever been done where there was an image it was he's like people call him the first multimedia poet right oh okay okay Ren is doing something that I don't know if it's been done before because what he's doing is he's truly combining the art of you know, bard storytelling, which was there already, but he's doing this with video and it's not a music video. <laughs> no, like, no, not, not that sense. No, not even close. Like it's, it's a new medium. It's a new art form. And he, like, I don't know if he's pioneering, but it sure feels like we're watching something get well, made here. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this. I don't know what that means. If it's out there, I don't know who was before him doing this styling of. Yeah. yeah. And I suspect it'll be a similar response that people had to Blake kind of like, Hmm, this is interesting. Hmm, I don't know what to think of this. Whereas I feel more like on the side of like, I'm with him. Like I, I, I want to see more of these. Like these just feel like they're, they're little crafts, the cra well-crafted stories. He's practiced them. He's got an eye for what sounds good. He's, he's a great actor as well as a performer. I think all of it is just, it's so fascinating. So I'm like, I don't know. I'm yeah. Whoever that idiot that got all mad at us for laughing at it, like you don't get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope they're watching again. Hey, Hey, yeah. Hey yeah. guy. Hey guy. Are, are you happy with this reaction? Did we do better this time? It, please, please tell us how to react better. We want to hear those comments. Uh, uh, look, uh, the Ren the renegades have been fantastic to us. A uh, lot to process here, folks. I, I don't know how we can get everything all at once, but we're going to keep doing this journey of Ren again. Mm. If you want your request shot up to the top, join our Patreon and it will get done. If not, we'll do our best to curate it. Uh, the, with the comments because we want to mm. keep going but we really want to go the right way the the way that you think we should go um mm. yeah this is fantastic thanks thank you so much and ren keep rocking oh and i will say this too i meant to mention the guitar, guitar play we haven't really guitar. mentioned this yeah we never even mentioned it i i know it's it be, and it, it's not fair to him because he's so talented with the storytelling and not just the way he delivers the story obviously mm. the sing song voice and he does a bit of that 
I, I'm just gonna say like Eminem type rap mixed with mm-hmm. singing, mixed with speak talking, singing. I don't know what it's called. I don't know anything. It's like uh, sp- uh, what's spoken word poetry, right? A slam poetry, slam poetry, a bit. Poetry, a bit. But it's um, his own thing too. But he yeah. sings, he talks, he raps, he tells a story, changes his voice, does different characters. It's a one man show, obviously a one man mm-hmm. play. Mm-hmm. Uh, but his guitar playing, then just alone, his guitar playing, it's very, very cool. I uh, like just the the finger tap and the different notes. Um, the the uh, uh, like uh, it's just interesting to watch him guitar play. I'm like I could just watch him play the guitar. And go, this is cool, and um, mm-hmm. it's like a it kind of builds up to the story and then he just goes into it and it's the soundtrack behind his talk. I don't know how he does it. It's crazy. It's a lot to take in. Um, yeah. 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 All right. Thanks so much everyone for joining us. Yeah. Thanks everyone. That was a great, a great uh, journey and I'm looking forward to many more. So we'll see you there.